It's Mark Kabe here from Kotsu Canada. I want to take a moment to talk about the size choices for your Kotsu armbands. There's a little bit of overlap between the small, medium, and large sizes, and I want to make sure that you choose the correct size for your arms. You can see I have some numbers written on my arm representing different circumferences. So I have 12 inches, 11 inches, 10 inches, and 9 inches measured off. I'm going to start with a small armband. Some people have said they've never been a small anything, but I'm going to use this opportunity to show you why you might not want a small band. So I'm going to start off by having the band in a loop, which is how I would normally start putting it on my arm. Keep in mind I'm doing this on my forearm. If you're doing this on your upper arm, where the bands need to go, this is much more difficult. At 9 inches, and even at 10 inches, it's a pretty tight squeeze. But you can see that there's still some bands sticking out. I can still grab onto that and tighten it. But at 11 inches, it's really starting to be difficult to get this on. And again, I'm doing this on my forearm. So there's a very small amount of band that is available for me to pull through the strap buckle. So I've got it on, and now I've got this at my appropriate one finger tightness, which is how tight it needs to be. But that was a bit of a struggle to get on. There's very little band to pull on. For those who don't have very good grip strength, this could be challenging. So you can see here that there is enough strap, but at the same time, it might be easier using a medium band, which is what I'm showing here. I'm going to do the same thing and create a loop with the air band. And I'm going to slide it up my arm. And you'll see here that this slides up much more easily because there's a lot more slack. In addition, there's a lot more air band to pull on so you can get a full hand to grip on it to then tighten it properly. Now some people might think that's a little bulky and compared to a small band it is, but I think it's a much easier way of working. Now I'm also going to show you how the medium band fits when you go to a slightly larger size. And we're now at 12 inches, which is the lower limit for the large armband. And you can see here that it still fits. I can still get one finger comfortably through for one finger tightness. When you look at using the large armband at 12 inches, which is the lower limit of the large size, you'll see that there is a lot more band available to pull on. So I'm making a loop, and I'm going to slide it up to that 12 inches, and you can see there is definitely a lot more band. However, if you're in the large size, I would recommend staying with large. Your arms may increase in circumference as you're using Kotsu more, and you want to make sure that your band is going to be able to grow with you. So, there you have it. There's a quick introduction on how to choose the right size band for your arms for Kotsu equipment. If you have any questions about the right size Kotsu band for you, please let me know before you order. Thank you. Thank you.